There is no one in our community who has done more in the way of philanthropy than Clarence Scarber Jr. and his late wife Dorothy. To honor their benevolence and to say thank you from all of us in West Texas, the Permian Basin Chapter presents for the first time the Lifetime Achievement Award in Philanthropy to Dorothy and Clarence Scarber Jr. The Scarbers' patronage over the past 60 years has touched the lives of thousands of our fellow citizens. They've supported almost every organization in the Permian Basin. Dorothy and Clarence have been an example to us all with a history of giving so extraordinary that we need to affirm it with this singular honor. Beginning with a founding gift of $50,000 from Clarence in 1946, the Scarbers have contributed to virtually every campaign in the history of Midland Memorial Hospital. In December of 2006, Mr. Scarber established the Dorothy Turner Scarber Endowment. His donations to the fund to date total $1 million. And in April of this year, he pledged $25 million to the Midland Memorial Foundation's Campaign for Tomorrow. When announcing his donation to the project, Mr. Scarber said he was doing exactly what his dad would have done. Sooner or later, he says, every one of us will need this. True community leaders, Clarence and Dorothy have been active supporters of the Museum of the Southwest at Turner Mansion, Mrs. Scarber's childhood home. Dorothy and her husband have made substantial contributions to Midland College, including $1 million to the Chaparral Circle Endowment Fund. And in 1995, the Student Center was renamed in their honor. The Scarbers' generosity reaches beyond our community. In May of 2008, Clarence made a $2 million gift to the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum. That gift was in addition to a previous donation of $500,000. Dorothy and Clarence Scarber Jr. are loved and respected throughout the Permian Basin for their extraordinary support of our people and our vital nonprofit organizations. The impact of their contributions will be felt in West Texas for many generations.